No, I was afraid of this happening. That's the bottom piece has snapped inside there. So the new bit, you've got that bottom part there. That's snapped off of there in the bottom there. So now I've got the fun task of trying to get that out. Right, allow me, I know I'm in a vest top, but it's a Saturday afternoon and my van's reading 30 degrees. It's the 31st of May. It is a scorching today. Just got back from Marseille yesterday. It's actually hotter here than it was over there, surprisingly enough, which I'm actually quite glad to come back to. I am out because I've got a call out. Weekend call out, that's what happens when you go away. You've got to try and catch up. Leaking valent. The customer's actually the guy who fit the CCTV for my parents and he's also fixed the internet stuff at my house as well where my neighbour, even though she won't admit it, I know it's her, she's cut the ethernet cable whilst trimming the side axis on my side of the fence. Yeah, so I'm just doing it as a bit of a favour. Paid favour, of course, because I've paid him, but a favour on the weekend. Leaking valent, let's go and see what it is. Right, here we have ourselves. And this looks like a 837. It's about the size of the plate. I oh, know it's a bit dark. Let's get some light on. I've not actually looked at the data badge, but yeah, this is an 837. Massive plate. Now, the weep, the leak is coming from, is it the expansion? The AAV's had a weep on it. I reckon it's the expansion vessel. Because there's drips and weeps, or signs of weeps on the back there. Let's see if we get water coming out of this. No. And that vessel actually looks new. Either that, or it's one of the condense holes. Uh, it's not the pump, it's got a new diverter on it, so it's not that. Oh, that's you. Pump, pump looks like it's been siliconed on. Right, let me do a few more checks. But right, I think I've found it. <clears throat> let me try and get the lighting on it proper. Right, let me let's use this as a little pointing device. So see right there where that expansion vessel connection goes in there. Look, that's all wet. There's a little dribble coming from there. So I reckon that plastic connection piece has probably got a hairline crack and it's weeping out of there. I'm going to have a look on the van and see if I've got one. <sighs> Didn't have it. I know I've got it, just not on the van. And I'm, the reason I know I've got it is because I actually picked it out of my stores in my shed. I think I forgot to bring it to the van, which means I'm not coming back today. Uh, I have to do a Sunday visit because the rest of the week I'm booked up. Well, Monday, Tuesday, I've got a two day install with Josh, which you guys will see. And then Wednesday, I'm flying out to Velocity. And Thursday, I'm going to Albania for my mate Stag. So I need to try and get this done either tomorrow, maybe Monday or Tuesday after helping Josh out. Let's see. Right. See you guys soon. Excuse my uh, bunged up this hay fever has got me back with a vengeance. But anyway, I had it in my shed at home. So we're here. Let's get it done. 
Right, we're here. I've drained out and annoyingly I've had to use the drain off on the flow side because whoever's worked on this before me has completely chewed up the drain off on the return side, which would, which would actually be ideal because I'm going to be working on the return side. But I've, yeah, I've got that. I've got an AAV as well because that's, you can see that's been weeping as well. So I'm going to get all that changed out. Pressure sensor seems okay at the moment. It's reading 0 0.3, 0 0.4, but normally when I take out the AAV, that will drain whatever rest of the water is left in there. And if it's still giving me a reading, then I'll change the pressure sensor as well. If not, then we should be all right with just the AAV. Let's get this going. No, I was afraid of this happening. That's the bottom piece has snapped inside there. So the new bit, you've got that bottom part there. That's snapped off of there in the bottom there. So now I've got the fun task of trying to get that out. Right, I'm gonna try a few bits. Let's salt that in WD-40 first. Had to be a Sunday as well. And I've got a selection of angled nose pliers. So I'm hoping one of these will be able to get in there. And get that bit out. Without obviously cracking the entire pump housing. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll give it a go and hopefully it'll come out. That was a very hairy moment because I got it out, but you can imagine I'm literally moving that back and forth, back and forth. It started to break. And I was worried that if that breaks completely, I'm not gonna be able to get it out, but that's what I mean, you can't fault the knipic stuff gripped on tightly I wiggled it back and forth back and forth managed to get it out thank god right new part is all made up let's get that in first get down the bloody crack 
the new one. Taking a risk on this one. Let's also just pop some this in there. Okay. That's gone in. That's in. Now let's do the pressure gauge. Oh, I've changed the old ring on the little capillary as well. That should go in nice and easily. It does. Hey, that's in. Okay. Fiber washer next. On the older ones, it's just better off using natural grease grease rather than the spray grease because there's a lot of crud. There will be a lot of crud in there. Come on now. You see the O-rings come off from that now, I reckon. No? No, we're in. We're good. Cool. Right, I'm going to repressurize and test it. Right, we are p 0 We're purging. Got about 1.4 and that's looking good no more leaks on that i reckon this vessel is new and i reckon whoever's come before me to change that vessel has probably disturbed that connection because they obviously would have had to undo that and it looked at a slight crooked angle see how straight that is when i came yesterday that did look at a slight angle and that explains why that snapped off because it was just, yeah, it was very cracked, but that's done now. So once this finished purging, I'm out of here. <laughs>